Hello, welcome to my video. I recently purchased a Bowflex PR3000 in December 2014 and I noticed some issues with the owner's manual. These issues were around the power rod hooks, the pulley labels and the rod box installation. Let's have a closer look. So here is a view of the back of the machine. All of the hooks are turned inwards which didn't line up to how it should have been according to the user manual. It's a pretty easy fix however. Using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the screw on the top of each rod, turn the hook as required, and then tighten it back up again. This will allow much easier access to the hooks when applying the weight. The second inconsistency I ran into with the installation manual was the labeling of the pulleys. Each pulley is labeled from 1 to 9. However, in the manual, they don't use numbers. They use letters. In this case, it is safe to assume that A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on. The last issue that I ran into and the most complicated is how the rod box is attached to the unit. Black L-shaped metal piece that you see there has treads in it. However, the red part where the screws go through, there are no treads in that. So how is this confusing, you might wonder? Let's have a look, closer look. You have the screws and then washers, which go through the red part, which is a part of the frame, which then screw into the L-shaped black metal piece which is threaded. Let's have a look at what the manual says. In this picture it kind of looks like the screws go through the black metal piece then into the frame. On this page it, it kind of shows that the L piece is overlapping on the rod box as expected. And on this page here you can see that the black metal piece is on the outside, which is wrong because there's nothing for it to be treaded into, for those screws to go into, if the black metal piece is on the outside. So after playing around with it for a while, it only made sense that the black metal piece goes on the inside of the frame so that it can be securely attached to the frame and secure the rod box into its proper place. Thanks for watching.